Hey my queens and queens, I'm here with another lip video for y'all. Right now I just have my 360 13 by 6 lace front wig um, from Glow Hair Company parted. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and color this hair with y'all today. This inspiration is from Young Africana. Um, she's also on YouTube. I looked at her um, doing this and I was just like, it was so bomb. So I wanted to try and go ahead and do this. Y'all, this is a disclaimer because I usually don't color hair. Now what I'm doing right now is taking my Got To Be Freeze and spraying it thoroughly on the lace. You wanna make sure it gets on every part of the lace because you don't want the dye to become the color of the lace at all. That's not cute, honey. So now I'm just taking my Cotton Candy Adore dye. We're going to be using two bottles. Um, and that's just my hot boiling water. You're gonna watch me pour that in there. I did not um, measure this. I just measured it with my eye, <laughs> as you can tell. Um, so yeah, I'm just pouring that in there for y'all. And I'm gonna go ahead and mix it now. I do wanna tell y'all, make sure your water is not extremely hot because as you can see, it's like little white specks in there and I'm sure it's because I have my water boiling hot and those little white specks is actually dye. So you don't want that in your water at all. So now I'm just going ahead and dipping the hair. As so, be careful and just dip to your desired color. Like I'm just eyeing it and making sure it doesn't get any lighter than or any darker than what I want it to be. Um, this is harder than it looks, <laughs> honestly, guys. So just be careful you're not um, dipping any other amount of the hair into it, except for the part that you want. Um, so yeah. I'm just dipping it, making sure it's getting saturated in the water. I am going to go ahead and take my brush to dip it in there more because that water is super hot. You don't want to use your fingers. So it's getting there, honey. Yes, yeah, it's getting there. So you just got to be patient with it um, and keep dipping it. So I did keep it in there for a little like two to three minutes. And now I'm just doing it again. Just dipping it some more. So I can get my desired color. And I was going for like a cotton candy pink look. So nothing too like neonish, like a bright, bright pink, but something like soft. So that's what I'm going for. So you want to leave it sitting in there for a little bit for it to grasp that color. Um, that's another reason why I wanted to do the watercolor method and Young yeah, Africana did it too. So now I'm just going ahead and I'm doing the other side, getting that on there. Don't ask me why I tried to pull the water up and put it on there like that would make a difference because baby, it didn't, okay? This is a disclaimer, y'all, okay? This is my second time watercoloring here. So I'm just showing y'all how I'm doing it. Um, I am pouring more dye in there because as you can tell, the color is starting to go away and I needed to do the back for the peekaboo effect. Um, so I'm just dipping that back side that I had sectioned off now. And just iron that as well so you guys can watch that as I do that So yes, look at that color. That is the cotton candy pink I was going for. So I'm just dipping it. Make sure it's get on every strand for the last couple um, minutes on this video. It's very important. You want to make sure your color, you get the color that uh, you desire. So to keep dipping it is a very um, important method. Now, as you can see, the pink is on there. And of course, I got pink on the side that shouldn't have pink on it <laughs> like i said this is my second time <laughs> so y'all just experimenting with me as i go along um but it did take it didn't get to the root as much because i was just nervous y'all so i got as much pink on it in the back as i possibly could i would recommend not using a wig and to use bundles <laughs> for it to be better but i'm just going in with the kiss temptation honey brown um, I'm going to do it on the parts that I have sectioned off. So as you can see, I'm working from the back and then going to the front. Um, you're going to want to use developer. I have 40 
and because I'm using 40 and some gloves I'm not gonna put as much developer in it as you would need so and again I do want to tell you that I'm just eyeing it it's not an exact measurement but I'm not gonna put too much then I'm just gonna go ahead and mix that with my brush and get that all together so I can dye this middle part brown. So right now I'm just taking my hair and I'm working from the root to the end. So I'm just being as diligently soft and also I'm taking my time. You don't want to rush this because you don't want no dye on the lace at all. You want to try your best to make sure no dye gets on that lace. So I'm just saturating it, getting it all in there and mixed together onto the roots right now. I am going to pull the hair up so I can get it at the bottom as well on the roots. Because like I said, you want to make sure it's saturated as much as possible. So you see here, I'm, I've pulled it up and I'm going to be putting more dye on that bottom because I want to make sure I'm getting every strand of hair. So now I'm just taking my comb, a small tooth comb, and I'm combing it out. I want to make sure it gets every strand of hair. So it's very important when you're dyeing it. You don't want your dye to be all different types of colors. So that's what I am doing now, just combing it all out. Now once you have it combed out, if you see some other strands of hair that you feel like didn't get the color, by all means, please go ahead and fix that. That's what I'm doing right now. Um, you, Like I said, you want to make sure that every strand of hair has that dye on it. You don't want your brown to, or any color to be different colors. I am going to go in with my smaller brush just because I feel like it'll be more effective, especially with using for the roots. So I would recommend using a smaller brush, not like a big one like I had at the beginning. Um, so now I'm just going ahead and parting that second one. I am just going to do this with you guys. I think two or three times I think it's two times just so you guys can see what I did to achieve um, me coloring the roots okay so you want to just take a small portion you don't want to do big ones because then you don't want to miss all of the hairs that are in between you know what I'm saying so just take your time with it and be patient um, I'm going to go ahead and also do the same exact thing that I did I'm only taking a little bit of dye not as much and like I said, I'm just taking my time being soft and being patient with putting on that dye. So I've completed that portion. I wanted to go over the front part with you guys 
just so you can see i do use different strokes because i have a brush i will also uh provide a link from sally's where you can get these eyeshadow not eyeshadow but like eyelash brushes that i think are great for beginners if you're scared to use that little brush because it is still pretty big you're gonna want to use different strokes so as you can see i'm going up with the brush now and i'm actually not just using the whole entire brush i'm only using like the bottom bristles in the front of the brush if that makes sense so i'm just putting parting off my hair you want to make sure that your parts are not as big as they were in the back so even smaller parts um because you just want to make sure that it's not getting on that lace especially in the front we don't want to show it in the front either so like i said i'm brushing up towards the back of the wig now with those different strokes it helps to get every strand of that hair without dyeing it without dyeing the lace completely and i'm only using like probably a dot or not even a dot of dye like i do not have that much dye on that brush because you just want to be extra extra careful it's better to be careful than to be sorry or what but however that phrase go y'all know what i'm saying <laughs> so yeah i'm just taking my brush making sure it's done completely and not overdone you just don't want to put too much dye in the front at all so now you're always going to want to take that comb comb it out make sure i get on every strand and i'm just going to do that last part so i'll let you guys see that and i'll stop talking <laughs> So I'm sorry, I have one more thing, y'all. I do want to tell y'all that I'm speeding this up. So please, please, please take your time. Try to try not to go as fast. I just speeded up the video so the video won't be as long. So I'm not really going fast. Like I said, I just speeded up the video. So take your time. And now the roots are completed and now we're going to be going on to the side where I messed up. So I'm not going to try to go ahead and dye that pink brown. I'm just going to go ahead and dye the rest of the hair brown since I already messed it up. Because as you can see, it's going to turn the color. If I put the brown on the pink, it'll turn it like a red tint and we don't want that. So I'm just going to go ahead and start dyeing the ends with the honey brown that i have and i'm gonna use my comb of course because you want every strand of that hair to be dyed So right now, the next step, I'm just going to go ahead, take that hair apart, and I'm going to be very honest with y'all. I did the messy way of going ahead and saturating the ends. If you want to take your time and, you know, part it again and take it strand by strand, which I would definitely recommend if this is your first go around dying hair, which I probably should have done it that way as well. By all means, go ahead and do that. Um, I'm just going ahead and saturating all those strands of hair, making sure it's on every strand.
it all taken care of, sectioned off into the middle so we can start on the back portion. So now I'm just taking the rest of the dye that I have, putting it in my hot water as you can see. I don't waste no dye, honey. We ain't wasting no money over here, okay? I know my voice kind of sound raspy right now. I'm sorry, y'all. Um, but yeah, I'm just going ahead and pouring that in there. And we're just going to go ahead and mix it like so. Now I am going to go ahead and grab my other Temptation bottle. This is in the color Cinnamon. And I'm just going to put a little bit in there. Not too much. Just give it a little bit of like, yeah, right there, right there. <laughs> I was being extra. But yeah, just give it a little bit. Go ahead and mix that bad boy up in that hot water again. So now I'm just dipping my hair like so, like I did last time with the pink hair. Just getting my desired color that I want. I did leave it in there for about 10 to 15 minutes. I probably should have left it in there longer. And y'all are about to see why I should have left it in there longer. So as you can see, this is not the color I was going for. It didn't even get to the root. And like I said, it is because I was doing this on a wig and not bundles. It will be a lot easier with bundles, I believe. Um, cause this was very challenging doing it on a wig. So I did go in and just put the dye on the brown section that I wanted. And this is what it looks like now. I just have it wrapped in foil and I actually left this on there overnight. So I will definitely show y'all the final look after this. <laughs> <laughs> 